Hello everyone and um, thank you for tuning in. Today is a little bit of a tips and tricks video about line work and in particular how to loosen up, how to get those lines wobbly. Had a few comments people saying oh, I just can't, I, I sort of feel the need to draw these perfect lines. So how can we escape that and have a bit of fun and get these lines with character and wobble? So if we just draw a little house and just really simple idea, tiny bit of perspective, little bit of detail. And these lines are sort of, they're relatively straight for a sketch and quite neat. But how can we make this more interesting? How can we sort of force ourselves to get into this wibbly wobbly line style to loosen up, to have our sketches expressive and a bit of fun as well? Well, we can literally just force ourselves to add a wobble to every line. You can see, even when I'm just sketching, I was sort of doing that by accident, because uh, it's just how I practice my sketching. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we do the exact same building again, we could literally decide in the middle of every line, we're just gonna add a little wobble, and another wobble, and then we can come around and we can just do these little squiggles. And they look ridiculous on their own. You think, oh my word, how is this, this squiggle, how is this wobble possibly going to make sense? And I'll, I'll go totally ridiculous and let's just really make these wobbles huge. And you're thinking, as you're doing it, how on earth is this ever going to look like a building? Well, by then building up gradually these little bits of detail and texture, so we add in the windows, we add in the roof line, we add in the, uh, the chimney, got another kind of win windows maybe here and maybe there's one there as well. And then maybe, you know, we've got this nice wobbly line building, we can just go back and reinforce the lines which make the most sense, but you're leaving all that sort of 3D feel, all that character. And there you go, we have now got a sort of more characterful building just by forcing ourselves to add a little bit of wibble and wobble to our lines. And what's another way? Well, another way is sort of, well, I'm going to call it over sketching, but it's where you do gestural lines. So a, a, um, a non-gestural line might be holding the pen quite firmly and you go very carefully along like this. The line ends up straight, dark, firm. A gestural, a gestural line is more where you go, well, I know it needs to be about this long, so I'm just going to go and sweep my pen across the page. And why do I call this over sketching? Because you tend to overshoot lines a little bit, although I've undershot there, ironically, you tend to overshoot lines and you get this kind of architectural feel. So if we go again with our building here, we can just do these sort of gestural lines. And this is what I mean. You see how these lines are naturally just overshooting a little bit? And it means you get these, just a looser, more sketchy feel. And you can see how we've built it up in our minds because you've got this, this idea where we've got, almost like when you draw perspective out, you draw these lines of perspective and then you might build up your house within that line of perspective. Well, we're, we're just showing those lines of perspective by slightly over sketching and that can, continue into the windows as well, into details. And it's just by doing this kind of quick gestural line, we're holding the pen more loosely, not firmly in at the end. And we're just looking what we think we need and just going for it, just sweeping our pen quickly across the page. It's a really nice, quick, freeing way to sketch. Again, if we wanted to, we could go over these lines, make them bolder, bring them, bring them more to life. But I really like the look of these sketches. I, I get very envious of people who can do sketches like this in a really um, sort of clear, quick, and and sort of well, the, the beautiful architectural way that this this kind of sketching looks. Anyway, there's my couple of simple ideas for trialing loosening up. Um, if you're wanting a simple way to practice it, you could literally just start doing a few little cubes and just putting these sort of cubes next to each other, building up a little bit of 
wobble and things into them or doing the same with this kind of over sketching idea and just build them up. Another thing you could do is, is take a few just household objects, pop them in front of you. And if I just take a look at what's in front of me, perhaps I want to draw my little water bottle so I can just go start just bringing in that kind of sketching. And then next to my water bottle, I've got my watch. So just continuing that uh, sort of gestural way of sketching. Then I've got my phone in front of that. And we can, we can make the phone 3D. We can build in those lines. And so you can just do this with anything in front of you. You can do it with imaginary constructs, or you can do it from a reference photo and practice directly on your architecture. So I hope that's given you not just a couple of ways of loosening up and creating interesting characterful sketches with your line work, but also a couple of ways beyond finding reference photos and sketching from plein air, but also of just practicing, you know, anywhere with anything. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you have a good rest of your days.